Hello everybody, welcome back to Planet X, Alex here. Today is March 6, 2018. I want to give a shout out to um, Ray for giving me this video. I also want to give a shout out to Angie, UK, Angie, Texas, Maria, Philippines, China Jones, Janice, Miss J, Russ, Stevan, Mark, Mav, and all the other Nibiruans out there. Uh, I received this video today from Ray. It was taken in uh, March 1st, 2018 in Spurs Grove, uh, Alberta, Canada. Well, what I'm going to show you guys right now, it's going to be uh, an object retrograding going this way as our sun rises. I'm going to let it play out so you guys can see yourself. Ray did a fine job where he let it play out for a while, then he rewinded and did it. So I'll let you guys see it yourself. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to move my cursor with the arrow. But I'm not going to move it right on it. I'm just going to move it on the bottom of it so I can show you guys more or less. So you guys can see. So you guys can be guiding. So I can help you guys guide your eyes. You guys ready? Here we go. Here we go again. This time I'm going to go follow it. It's right here. It's taking off. And here's our sun coming up. When I saw that, I was like, wow. It's amazing. Then I'm going to play this video with you guys. So you understand here. There's an object right here. Okay, we got some ground photographs to prove. I'm gonna pause this for you guys. Now we're gonna go to some ground photographs. I want to give a shout out to Janice. When she gave me this photograph, she said she saw the possible three objects by our moon. This was taken on the third of March, uh, 2018. At 22.50, which is, what, 10 o'clock? It was in um, Mission Ridge. In um, Washington, U USA. What you're seeing right here is one object right here. And you're seeing another object right here. Uh, Janice did some cropping and some auto adjustments herself. So I'm just sharing what she did. Here's it again. And no... It's still the same. Same object has not changed. And then again. When I start seeing this stuff right there, especially at nighttime, I say it's, it's kind of some uh, urgency and some concern what's really going on. And then here it is again. I saw that and everything. I was like, wow, that's amazing. You know, that's, it looks like we're getting an eclipse. And then um, when I saw the photograph, first thing I saw was this. I go, yeah, this is an object. And believe me, I want to give a shout out to Maria because she did this uh, adjustment for me for me to bring this out. And uh, she sure brought it out. Same uh, same photograph. Here's the purple object. Isn't that crazy? And then we're getting some s the moon with some objects right there by them. So, cause for concern for me. Now, I'm going to go back to this. So, the photo video that I was just about to play, you guys, it's in cooperation with this. Pay attention. What I'm going to show you, I did this yesterday, March 5th. What I saw was the sky get, like, dim, and you're going to see, like, a shadow right here, and then it just gets back to the same color. Watch. You guys see that? Let's go back again. It goes back to the same color. Let 
Now I'm going to show you some photographs on the ground right now. Let me just pause this and go there. Here we go. Some photographs. I received this. I want to give a shout out to Kay. Kate or Kay, I believe. She saw this and she took a photograph. And when I saw that, it kind of reminded me, like I said, right now of, of the webcam. And I received this on the same day. When I saw that, I was like, man, you know, this is con urgency. Like I said, concern. Something's going on in our skies. And then you got an object right here. Here's our sun. And then when you start getting people sending you little clouds like this, sticking their clouds, your eyes. When I saw that, I was I was gonna bypass that, but when I re when I started scanning through all the other photographs, I saw that this matched to other photographs because they weren't in order. When you blow it up a little bit, you see that there's an object. Like it looks like you know circular shape of an object. And then when you blow it up bigger, you do the gamma ray. Now look at that. Then you start getting this stuff right here. Same same photograph. And when you start getting photographs like this, this is when you start saying, okay, what's really going on? Then you guys think this might be a regular uh, photograph? But here's your object. That's your moon. There it is. Could be a possible object right here too. And this one, the way it is. Then I thought this was just something I was looking at, but when I started looking at it closely, investigating it in detail, you got a moon sticking out. And they said, a moon. Shout out to you, Angie. Then you get this kind of photographs right here. This not the photographs so I'm not really concerned about all that. They wanted to show me that if I knew what this was and this was. It's not the main thing, guys. What I want to let you guys know is when we start seeing stuff like this, and what I guess I don't know webcams or whatever cam they got this off white stuff that we're not supposed to see stars during the day let's put it that way that's cause concern here it is again you can see them more then you have this right here they said to do the thumb test. Okay, guys, did the thumb test. That did that pass? To me, it did. And I've been trying to tell you guys all: these are not sun dogs; they're comets. Two comets coming down. I believe this was in Ecuador, same day as that other big old comet that everyone saw go down. Look at that. And then a crazy old sun. And we're back here. Now I'm going to play you guys another video so you guys can see the sun right here that I want to go back. The sun turns into like a figure eight. This was on March 5th. Oh, sorry about that, guys. You see? Crazy things up there in the sky. So many asleep. So many don't want to learn. Well, that's it, guys. I just wanted to share this with you guys. Like I said, I want to give a shout out to all you guys. Shout out to April, too. I forgot to mention you, April. I'm sorry about that. So then, guys, take care. Be safe. Pray for one another. Have whoever you want to be guys in my prayers. Pray for you guys every single night. And if you guys haven't got right, try to get right. Make enemies with your enemies and make, make a shout out to them. Scott Seal on Planet X News. Shout out, brother. I forgive you. And uh, let's just move on from here, guy. All right, guys. I love you guys. Take care.